it always bothered me that that whole 2019, it bothered me that I didn't get an answer. And I was like, I knew I needed to pursue it more and I need, knew I wasn't talking to the right people, but like, it was just such an exhausting year. Like it was so confusing and chaotic. And I just honestly didn't have the energy to like go talk to another doctor. Like you probably went through this. It's just like, you feel like you have, I think I had one month, I had like 10 doctor's appointments and it's just like, you can't live your life. And so you, sometimes you just kind of give up because you're just like, okay, at least I'm stable. I don't really have an answer, but I'm stable. And then like, it wasn't even six months later. So my sister, I found out my sister was pregnant. Like she told us that September, 2019, and she knew what was going on, but I don't think any of us really put the pieces together. And, um, yeah. And so when she started going through all that stuff and like, you know, the name feds came up, I was just like, just that, like, I had just had this huge feeling of dread. And I was like, oh my land, like this makes so much sense now. And it's just like, I really was angry at myself for not pursuing it more. And I was really angry at my doctors for like not catching it. And like, I kind of felt like part of her death was, I I don't, I'm not necessarily that it was my fault, but it was just like, if I would have pursued that more and maybe talked to the one right doctor, maybe she would have gone into her delivery knowing it and maybe something could have been done differently. And I know that she got the best care she had and I know that pregnancy is very complicated with the beds and um, it was just a perfect storm and I think she got the best care she possibly could have and I know her doctors tried really hard to save her but it was just like that 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 thought kept replaying in my mind was just like oh like I was so close and like I can't believe it was like I can't believe we had to lose another person to finally get an answer like this is not fair and like I was really angry at my doctors for a very long time like I like lost trust in like a lot of my doctors and I just um yeah I was just angry at myself for kind of giving up a little bit um giving up on pursuing answers and people would tell me they're like you know you can't do that you can't say what if I did this but it was just like it was, it was like this perfect storm. Like it was just like retrospectively, like there are so many clues that like just all of us missed. And like, even her doctors have said too, like, you know, we should have taken this family history more seriously. Like they've learned a lot from our case. Like, um, you know, when Lizzie was getting checkups with her pregnancy, like knowing that you have a brother die with the aortic dissection, like that's a huge red flag. And like, you should send all those patients to make sure that they have cardiovascular screening during their pregnancy. And like, they did a whole podcast on her case and we're saying like, you know, from a cardiology perspective, it's now kind of obvious in our family. Um, But yeah, so like there was definitely things that doctors should have recognized and like, I wish I would have pushed more for, um, but it's like you, you can't, all you can do is, um, move forward and all you can do is recognize where you've messed up and where even like I've really appreciated the humility that a lot of her doctors have had that was like this case was tragic and it shouldn't have happened and if things were maybe different then it probably could not happened but they're like okay what can we learn from this 